Oh, yeah, hey, Ty, can you uh, can you record to the backup? I got it recording. Sweet, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Marta, Papuando, Raul, Mafaro, Tom, Nico, Elizabeth, Max, Rob, Sean, Linda. Sorry if I skip you. Jacob, Rob, Matthew, Gustav, Randy. All right, lots of people on here. Probably have five, six hundred people watch this. So if I don't get to answer your question on ecom, I'll apologize now. It's just not realistic to answer everybody. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to be going through is a real quick. Um, I just, you know, I've been doing some a lot of talking on e-commerce right now, just because. Let me start by saying you will never never get this opportunity again in your lifetime. And neither will I. The way that the world is panning out for e it's like the famous saying goes, there are years where nothing happens and weeks where years happened. Your opportunity, my opportunity in e just shot forward 10, 20 years in the last eight weeks because everything's disrupted. Retail's disrupted. Jason Penny bankrupt. Uh, bankruptcy's rolling out. They've got too many stores. Physical stores don't work anymore. But the problem is there's not enough people who know e-com. I can tell you that because um, I basically have been doing e-com since 2001. I've seen the world, and now I work with the top investment banks to bid to buy these big companies. JC Penney's chapter 11 right now, but if it switches to ch- chapter seven or if it goes to a 363 liquidation, um, I look at all those deals. I, right now, I've got bids in for six companies to buy, big companies. These are not ones you should start with, okay? The way I started, and I'm going to tell you guys my story and, and the whole thing. I started out you know, in 2001 with a small business, but it took me from sleeping on a couch in a mobile home, it took me about nine months of doing e com to get to six figures. I was making between six and $10,000 a month and it completely revolutionized my, my life. I made more money than basically anybody in my family had ever made. And um, it gave me all the freedom I wanted, moved out, got a house with two other guys in Raleigh, North Carolina. And um, I've never gone backwards since then. You know, every year I've been able to grow my businesses, grow my revenue, grow my net worth and um, all the way to today. You know, we're, we're now in the 2020s. So for you, a lot of you are at the crossroads right now where you're like where I was when I started and you feel like you're, you know, broke or with no path out, you know? So if that's you and that's how you feel, this is a good time. The good thing for you to watch this is totally legit. Everybody knows about it. It's all over the news. You know, I, I was telling people to do e <laughs> in 2001 and people thought it was a scam. And Oh, this and what? No, what are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. Well, now we see who laughs last. That's how the game goes. Um, so I'm going to give you guys kind of a quick, I've got a set of slides I want to go through in kind of a real organized fashion just to, you know, make this easy to follow. So I'll share my screen here and if I'll stop for questions and uh, I'll also open up some examples and all that kind of stuff. So give me a second here. I'm going to go here to the very beginning. I've got 21 slides for you. Okay, here we go. Sharon, oh, we're already up way over 500 people. Okay, this thing may end up at, sometimes these get up to seven, 800 people. So, okay. How to become an e-commerce certified specialist in four months. That's the goal of today's call. Some of you will take a little longer and some of you will take a little, you know, go a little faster, but there's a legitimate path for you to become an actual specialist in e in four months. Okay. Okay. L- just an explanation. Who's this training for? If you're already an entrepreneur, pay attention because 
Uh, maybe you're an entrepreneur, but you're not a master of e-com. If you don't care about launching your own business, but you are are okay with being an employee, and there's nothing wrong with being an employee as long as you're getting paid fairly, this e-commerce certified specialist is going to change your life because now you can command a better income, a better salary because you have more skills than the other people around you at work. That's important. That's how you make more money as an employee. You just got to know more. It's, it's easy to ask for a raise when you're the only one who knows something in your entire company. And this is also if you want to be a consultant or you are a consultant and you want to do this as a part-time freelancing where you can train other people and help them grow their e-com business. Now, why listen to me? I mean, the simplest explanation for that is I got experience. There's four in this e-commerce training that I do. There's four of us. There's me and my business partner, Alex. And there's a guy named Rudy, who's a business partner. And, and um, we have kind of like some fourth and other guests that will teach you. But just to give you an example, if you're wondering, you know, should I listen to this guy? So here's a brand that I own an e brand. Okay. This is Dress Barn. Um, I bought it last year in October and uh, it's a huge brand. Last year it did two, $740 million in revenue. Okay. So I'm the largest shareholder being my business partner in this brand right here. Um, Farmer's Cart is another brand that I built. It's in the grocery space, hyper fast growing company. We ship and sell food across. It's a grocery store online. Okay. Another brand that I own, mentorbox.com. We have, I have 75,000 customers on automatic rebilling paying uh, and this is this is a we interview and summarize books for people we have walmart as a client for their employee training program we've got you know new york times best-selling authors here's my business partner alex here's me so um okay so i've got the experience me and my business partner have done over one billion dollars with our businesses in e-commerce, we spent over six hundred million dollars. Okay, on Facebook and YouTube ads. I'm going to give you strategies that work for multiple brands. You can, I mean, multiple industries. Clothing. Here's just three. I mean, I have about twelve brands. I'm just I don't want to talk about myself too long. This is food. This is education. So what you're going to learn is things that work across anything, any category you might want to focus on. I'm going to connect you with mentors. My business partner here, Alex, he just sold his company for $300 million. Okay. He, he launched a company called Zeus. And let's see if there's a picture. He, he rang the New York Stock Exchange bell in the summer. Oops. Okay. Here he is right here. You can see a video. <laughs> of Alex right there. I don't know if I'll play the video, but you can, maybe I'll play it here just in case people are skeptical. Here's him ringing the New York Stock Exchange bell after he sold it to this company in Germany. There's Alex right there. So for those of you who know about business, um, ringing the New York Stock Exchange bell is basically the most prestigious thing you could probably do, you know, as, business, as a business owner in terms of, you know, selling a business. And this is Cheyenne here, this guy. He's the CEO of Dress Barn for us. So I'm going to connect you with these techniques and tools that you're not going to learn other places. I've got an insane amount of testimonials. I mean, I actually have a full time employee overseas who manages all the testimonials we get for the different programs over 100 million people have watched my free training over 200,000 actually this is outdated a lot more than that have gone through my paid training okay is it too late to learn econ i'm gonna i'm gonna say i'm gonna change this word from no to almost <laughs> that's the real truth okay you're almost too late and here's what i mean 
people preferred buying online. You know how long people have preferred buying online? For over 100 years. And you might say, but Ty, the internet didn't exist 100 years ago. Well, you're right, but they were still doing, they were buying through this. I have a barn uh, on my farm. I'm on a farm right now. And people used to get this right here, a catalog delivered to them. And they would order the barn on my farm here was ordered from Sears Roebuck. This is a 1902 one. That's about when my barn was built over 100 years ago. So guess what? People have preferred buying online for more than 100 years. It's just they didn't call it online. Or I should say, let's change this word to not at stores. Okay. But right now, retail stores are going bankrupt. Let's just type in and just like, look, it's just insanity right now. What's happening? Retail bankruptcy to watch for. Let's just let's not even talk about ones that are already done. Um, we've identified 54. There's 27 retailers could file bankruptcy. Let's just look through some of these. This is a little bit outdated. But I just want to give you the sense of opportunity because all these people that used to buy from these companies, now they're going to buy online. What do we have here? We've got haha, this company right here. This is where I bought dress partner from, Asina. J. Jill, J.C. Penney's, Neiman Marcus, Steinmart, Rite Aid, GameStop, GNC, uh, let's see, Express, L Brands. This is the company that owns Victoria's Secret. Um, Let's see, Destination so Wayfair. Now, not all of these will necessarily go bankrupt, but these are ones with an elevated risk, even Chewy. Michaels, you guys know Michaels? Um, so what do you think of that for opportunity? Think about that. Name a time. Where are all those people going to go? Guess where they're going to go? They're going straight online when all those stores close. Um, hold on one second. I was actually actually looking at this article reminding me of something to send to my lawyers about looking at one of these acquisitions. I didn't even realize this chewy one might be coming up. Okay. Um, by 2021, worldwide re re uh, retail e-com is going to hit 4.9. That's insanity. Trillion. That's four thousand. Four thousand or almost five thousand billion dollars. A lot of entrepreneurs, I meet them and I say, "What's your plan?" They say, "Oh, I'm going to make an app, and I'm going to be the Uber of you know everybody's ideas around Uber. I'm going to be the Uber of this, that, and this." And I'm going, "Why not just keep it simple? You know, why make something complicated? This thing could be done simply. Look here. So here's 2009, the growth of e-com." as a percentage of people buying in retail stores. So it's been growing. You could see, I started before they even made this chart, but boom, 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 it was growing. And then right here, COVID comes and this thing jacks up to a spike that you've never seen before. Nobody's ever seen anything like that. That, my friend, is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Let me see if we, let me stop my share for a second. Any questions so far? I'll take one or two. Someone said, can't believe Drake crew went bankrupt. Believe it, baby. Everything you think, I told you, Victoria's Secret. Now, they're not bankrupt yet, but their stock prices plummeted. They had a Sycamore Partners was going to buy them. Backed out of the $550 million. They weren't buying the whole thing, but a majority. Malls, if we look at Simon Properties, I me and my business partner tried to buy Forever 21 in January, and uh, we ended up getting outbid. Well, the stock and horse bid got put in by Simon Properties. It was unbeatable. But now Simon Properties, look at their market cap drop from four. They own Simon Properties owns the most malls in America. They've dropped from 40 million or 40 billion down. So yeah, Ty, is it difficult to compete in e-com with old companies? No, because they're going to be bankrupt. <laughs> easiest competitor to deal with is a dead one okay there some of these are just dead and gone 
How is this course different than your social media marketing agency course? Well, social media marketing teaches you how to build an agency to do people's advertising for them, their social media advertising. This is how to do e-com, how to sell things online for yourself. Or you can do it as an employee for somebody else too, if you want. Order bump versus upsell. We'll talk about that later. I'll take some more advanced questions at the end. Um, the answer to that order bump or upsell is both. It's not an if and situation. Ty, how long will it take to make money in e-com? Well, as I told you, I cannot, everybody, it's like asking me how long does it take to learn basketball? I don't know. There's some people have been trying to play for 10 years and still suck. And I know people that learn basketball very quickly. It depends on how open-minded, and motivated, and disciplined you are. If you have no motivation, you have no optimism, and you have no, you know, discipline, you're probably going to fail at anything you do, including e-com. So I'm not trying to tell you guys that all you do is become an e-com specialist and boom, you're rich overnight. No, I'm telling you the opposite. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying you're going to have to put in some work. But I'm telling you, the way wealth is created in the world, let me, I want to show you guys something. Let me go back to my shared screen here. Uh, let's just look at, at I, I, not enough people look at the Forbes list. Let's look at the Forbes list here. How are people creating wealth right now? Um, by the way, we're on a Zoom call. That's e-commerce. It's an e-commerce service. It's all online. You don't go to a store. The owner of Zoom has become a multi-multi-billionaire just this year. I mean, he already was, but his wealth has massively increased. So let's look here. Jeff Bezos, what business is he in? The richest man in the world? Ecom. What business is Bill Gates in? Ecom. Bernard Olnau is not in ecom, although he does do ecom. So so two out of the top three are ecom. Warren Buffett's in a combination, so we'll skip him. He has 92 brands, so it's a little complicated to say. Larry Ellison, ecom. He owns Oracle. Amancio Ortega, he's not e-com. Okay, Zara he does have e-com. It's not his core. Mark Zuckerberg's clearly e-com. The Walton family that own Walmart have begun to focus completely on e-com because their stores are closed. Not all of them, but stores in general are closed. So there you have a, those three together have 150 billion. They're actually the richest, the Walton family. Steve Ballmer, I actually know Steve. He's the 11th richest. He's in e-com. So when we look at the top 11 wealthiest people in the world, we have one, two, three, four, seven, eight, eight out of 11. That's a good bet. If you were playing poker, you would bet on that hand. You know, you would bet on it, uh, that hand. Um, okay. Going back here, let's go back and put some questions. Okay, next thing. So becoming an e-commerce certified specialist, like I said, I is once in a lifetime. And I told people my last time I've said this was in 2016, October 2016, I told basically everybody in the world, 100 million people saw my videos, okay? I said, start a social media marketing agency. Now is the time. And a lot of people, listen but more people you know people are like oh this is a scam this is a scam social media marketing agency what's that no one's ever going to be able to pay you money well the first test group i opened was in october 2016 it was just incredible i've never seen anything that i've ever taught have more instant testimonials not let me not say instant more testimonials in the first three months of launching it was just wild now since then, I personally have trained over 80,000 people to start a social media marketing agency. So it's more competitive now. So 2016 was your chance. You can still do a social media marketing agency. It's just better if you had started in 2016. So some people got in, lots missed out. You know what Jeff Bezos said? I'll show you something that everybody here should notice. It's called Regret Minimization Framework. Jeff Bezos. So he had a nice job. He was making six figures. And um, Jeff Bezos, let's see if there's a quick quote you guys can see. Yeah. So here, here's what he, this is what he decided. He didn't know if he should quit his job and go into e-commerce in 1994. So he asked, he said, I, I can't figure out the right answer. So he asked himself a question. Okay. 
when I'm 80 years old, will I regret not doing this? Yes, then do it immediately. No, then let it go. So he asked himself, I've got this idea to launch Amazon.com. Okay, I've got this idea to be, you know, make this amazing thing. Should I do it? Well, he said, I think I'd regret it if I had stayed at my job. And guess what? He's now the richest man in history. So he made the right choice. The framework, he says, the framework I found, which made the decision incredibly easy, was what I called what only a nerd would call a regret minimization framework. I wanted to project myself forward to age 80 and say, okay, and now I'm looking back at my life. I want to minimize the number of regrets I have. So if you go back here, just, you know, it's funny how many people now come to me and go, I wish I had gotten into your social media marketing agency. Well, the next big thing, years later, I've, I've identified e-com certified specialist, not just getting decent at e-com. Let me just be clear. I'm talking about being a legit, a legit specialist in e-com. I meet so many people that tell me they know e-com and I'm just like, you just don't. Because there's really four main areas of e-com you have to understand. Most people you'll meet are good at one. They might know marketing or they might be good at identifying products, finding things with large TAM, for example. They might be good at that. But that doesn't make you a specialist. You got to be good at the whole e-com game, not just one thing. So you have to understand the four P's, product, pricing, promotion, and placement. And you're not going to learn that. Obviously, on this one call, I cannot teach you guys everything in one week or, or sorry, one hour. But I want you to understand the big picture. Don't just get good at one of these. You're only as good as the weakest link in your chain. I've had to learn all four of these. And there's really, when you get a little more advanced, there's seven Ps. So I'm giving you the four to create initial specialty mastery. But there's, if you want to become a you know, like a red belt in e-commerce. There's even some more advanced things that I won't talk about on today's calls. Okay. They're just so I, I've kind of designed a program and I'm giving you, I'm going to give you first access to it. Yeah, I'm going to give you a free access to it today as we go through this training. It's a four-month program. I just closed the first test group, by the way. You missed that. So it's news you lose. Um, it's taught by experts. I, everybody has to have at least a scale to company to do an over hundred million dollars in e-com. We've got a certification at the end. So any questions on, before I kind of do some more training, somebody asked, what is TAM? Uh, TAM is uh, total addressable market. Sorry, I'm looking at something. TAM is total addressable market. So you want to go into market. Some people like their idea for e-com is some, the total market's a billion dollars. The reason I went into to food with Farmer's Cart, an e-commerce brand that I own, think about it. How big is food? Anybody know the answer? $8.6 trillion a year is spent on food. Common sense. Food, shelter, water. Those are the things you need. How much is on in clothing? Because clothing is shelter. Okay, shelters, housing and clothing. Shelters and clothing is well over a trillion. It depends on how you measure it, but it's a trillion dollar industry. So I want to show you guys how to not, one of the my mentors, Joel Southton, said the worst thing in life is getting good at the wrong thing. So some of you are about to get good at the wrong thing. You're going to start an e-com brand. I see people doing it every single day and they're just like, they're just building teeny, 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 teeny businesses. And I'm going, okay, guys, you know, you're waste. Even if you get good at this, you're not going to make that much money. Okay. A few more questions before I keep going. What do I think about going into vegan food? Huge market, huge market. Now it's only about one or 2% of the food market, but the, the TAM of food is so large, 8 trillion that even if it's 1% of people are interested in plant-based diets, you're talking just you know, it's massive. It's massive. Okay. Um, so I just got my first e-com lead. Cool. We've got some people who might even be in my training program already. What I think of affiliate marketing, Pete. Pete, my answer is that's a subset of e-commerce. 
So remember, e-commerce is anything that you don't have to go to a store for that's done on either a phone or a laptop, okay? And so the, the primary transaction, maybe you'll pick it up. So restaurants are going to switch to e-commerce. By, they already have. You order on the phone and either somebody delivers it to you like Uber Eats or something, or you're going to drive by and they're going to bring it to you curbside. Drop shipping. That's a subset. Drop shipping is one of the four P's is placement. How do you deliver the product? You can do it through what's called drop shipping, meaning you don't have to ship it from your house or your own warehouse and you don't have to carry is uh, you don't have to carry inventory. Inventory can get expensive. Someone says the only way to get good at the four P's. Yeah, you have to. If you want to be a real master of the game and really ensure you're going to do it right. Yeah. Okay. So let me go back to sharing my screen. Is drop shipping super saturated? Mm, not necessarily, but it's changed because now it's harder to get stuff from Asia ship. So you need to do more local drop shipping. We do some drop shipping with Dress Barn. We have our own warehouses, same with Farmer's Cart, but we do do we incorporate some drop shipping of some products so we don't have to carry them. I, I like the drop shipping concept at a at a high level, but only if it's a brand. So some people where you make a mistake is you're not branding yourself. You're just you're just a, a nameless, faceless place that people buy from and they'll forget about you. Okay. Someone said, should I shut down my basketball? Douglas said, should I shut down my basketball e-commerce store since the pandemic hit? Well, why would you do that? That sounds like your brain is working opposite. Your compass is backwards. You, should, you think you're going north, you're going south. Why wouldn't you grow it right now? More people, look, I don't know if you're selling equipment. People play basketball at home because they're going crazy sitting in their house. Well, let's go back to the slides. A couple things for those of you who, who become an e-commerce certified specialist, online lessons, you can access it from your phone. The only one thing you can't share with other people or else my system will automatically block you. So this is for you and you alone, password protected, uh, self-paced learning. You can train on your own schedule. Uh, look, it's a 10th of the time of a college degree, four months, not four years. It's a hundredth of the price of college. <laughs> the NYU business has a marketing degree uh, and a digital degree. It costs thirty thousand dollars a year. That's one hundred twenty thousand for literally an idiotic degree. I've seen it. I know a girl that's in it, and it's just the dumbest. She doesn't know anything. I wouldn't hire her. She spent one hundred twenty grand. I wouldn't even hire her as an intern. I like her as a human, but. She's an idiot when it comes to e-com because she had idiotic training. So we continue to add new ECS lessons all the time. So what are the things that you're going to learn? Let me just give you kind of like a sample, okay? Um, and this is, I, this is in no particular order. What is it? And I'm not promising you that this is going to happen, okay? It's not realistic that you are going to instantly go from one sale to a billion sales. Okay. That's not what's going to happen, but let me just show you something. I'm going to show my, my screen here. Let me just show you some of my brands. I use Shopify. Let me turn down my brightness here so you guys can see better. Okay, good. So here's Shopify or one of my brands. So I'll just show you yesterday. I'm not going to tell you which brand it is, just because my business partners don't like us, don't like people knowing our exact numbers. But this is one of my, this is not my largest, this is not the brand I make the most money from, but it's a big brand. So you have, and this is not a screenshot. I'll refresh it here. That's Shopify. So that's yesterday. If you can see, it's $108,000 in sales. There's 2,000 orders. So we're shipping out 2,000 orders. You can see how many people visited our store yesterday. Two hundred and what is it? Two twenty four. Two hundred twenty four thousand visitors to our website to buy, and one hundred ninety four thousand. You can see right there, were unique. Okay, 
So sometimes they're like, why should I listen to you? I'm like, well, do you know anybody else that had 200,000 people visit their store yesterday? Do you, you know, and maybe you do. Great. <laughs> if you do, you don't have to be on this call. But I didn't when I started. I had to learn it all myself, unfortunately. I had a few mentors, but there wasn't many mentors in e-com in 2002 and three and four. So, okay. So going back here to share my slides again. So I'm going to give you, let me just look. I don't know if I should save this till you get in the program or just kind of, I'll give you a hint. The number one secret that helped most websites going from barely getting a sale a week to thousands of sales. Let's just do a poll. Can anybody guess? I need about a half an hour to explain it, but can anybody guess what it is? Even close. Let's see. Virality. SEO, somebody says. Felix Miranda. Eric says product. Luis says branding. Man, these are going to come in too fast for me to read. Facebook pixel. Conversion rate. Rob Mills. The winning ad. Story. Presence. PPC. Product and value. A great story. Uh, okay, this is going to come in faster than I can. Clickbait. Somebody said email, SMS. Somebody wrote the word Tunisia. Okay, you think that's the number one reason that your business will grow online selling into Tunisia? Okay, could be. Click funnels, copywriting, sculpture approach, congruency. Now, I'm going to tell you what it is. Somebody may have said it, but it's hard to read these all. It starts with an A. D, D, I'm giving you a hint. A, D, D, not A, D. Advertising, that's not, there you go. My hint helped. Addictive. So I've become a professional in selecting products that, that are ethically addictive. You want things ethically addictive, by the way. I'm not talking about selling drugs. My dad went to prison, believe it or not, for selling, for selling cocaine. He went to Terminal Island when I was a baby. I was born uh, in Long Beach, California. If you guys, anybody from there, there's a prison island called Terminal Island. So my childhood baby pictures are me visiting my dad at Terminal Island. And my dad had it right as how you make a lot of money. But I can tell you the reason you don't want to sell ethically addictive stuff is uh, – you go to prison. My dad got all his money taken away from him. My dad's from Harlem and stuff. So, but he was on the right track. So let me just give you guys some clues, what you'll learn in the program. How do you, simple one, coffee. I see we got six, 700 people on here. Coffee. How many people are addicted to coffee? One fifth of the planet, probably. <laughs> one for sure. One seventh of the, of eight. One eighth of the planet is addicted to coffee. It's ethical. You can. It's not even bad for you if you don't go crazy with it. So that's one billion people. Who's the person on here that's going to build ecom, you know, mastery and launch a coffee brand? Look at this. I'll just show you a screen. Just show you the opportunity that you guys will learn. If I just put in buy coffee on Google, okay, what comes up? I'll show you a little ninja trick that you'll learn in the program, but how to use Google Shopping. So. Then you want to scroll through here because these are oftentimes paid and go here. So this is this is a very interesting company. They're selling alcohol infused coffee. Well, that seems like pretty addictive market, but I'm going to show you what's wrong because they're not e-com masters. Unfortunately, some of you can beat this company right here and I'll show you just some examples of how you can beat it. Um, it's a very this is a very poor way to show your price. This page is not optimized correctly. Also, it doesn't load in an image until I click on one. That's insane, but whatever. Um, and this is, you should show a price discount. If you look on Amazon, it doesn't just show $18. It says normally $75 and now it's 18. Okay. It just, this is very bland. There's no video, very few pictures, three little pictures. Nope. I mean, you got an interesting concept here, bourbon, and you just have this. That's it. It's just not good. And this little teeny paragraph 
to explain it. That's not enough to explain. So this company, here's a tool I'll give you guys for free and I'll show you some other tools like this. For those of you who get into the, the advanced training program, the four month, if we just put in black powder coffee here, okay, let's see, if, let's see what they're built with. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if they're using, they're using Google Analytics. They're on Shopify, so that's good for them, I should say. But I don't see an SMS tool. I'm, I'm on their site. Has it asked me? Notice when you're on Farmer's Cart, we grab your email and then we grab your SMS. When you're on Dress Barn, we grab your email and SMS. This company, Dress Barn, we have millions of double opt-in SMS and email. I won't even say the amount. You know how valuable that is? That's worth <laughs> tens of millions of dollars. These guys don't even know enough about e-com to grab your email before you're on the page and offer you a discount. But they're right here, basically at the top of the organic Google search rankings. They're getting sales every day. These sales should go to one of you. Whoever knows the most should make the most. So the more you learn, the more you earn. Anyway, so going back here, I'm going to show you how to master building out e-com brands in addictive markets, okay? I'm going to show you how to generate almost free leads. There's a little trick right now on Facebook um, where I can, let's say I want to grow my email and SMS list right now. It's cost, let's say, four bucks. I can get it for like 80 cents a lead, okay? I'm going to show you some psychological hacks. There's what I call the 25 cognitive biases of how you persuade people. Now, here's something very important. Very important. That's why I bolded this. What plugins, apps, and templates you need to use for your e-com, okay? And how to find them, install them, and get them live in your site. A lot of them you can get up in 10 minutes. You don't want to just use the basic Shopify. You don't want to just use the basic, you know, Magento platform or WordPress. You need to be using the right tools. Now, some of the tools, we're, we're really advanced with Dress Barn. We built our own, but we have super complex coders. I can show you how to get, you know, about the same thing done without needing your own programmers by using the right plugins. Okay, next, what do we have? This is key. You got to be able to pinpoint trending products. Let me ask you guys something. What do you see right here? Do you think this is a trending product for my dress barn brand? Nice. Our, our market is like 40, 50, 60 year old women. Do you think they like these masks? So they like ones with skulls. Like I see dudes, you know, selling like skull and crossbone masks. Well, most women don't want to wear a skull and crossbone. But this is a nice one. We, this is, we're identifying this trend. I'm not even going to tell you how many of these we sell. I'm not going to give that away. but. Let me just tell you, it's no joke. No joke. Okay, so I'm going to give you tools. There's some software you can use. You can go on Amazon. There's some ways of understanding and some tools with Amazon where you can find trending products on Amazon and then either sell them yourself on Amazon or you could sell them on your own brand. Okay, scaling advertising. Most people who think they know they're good at Facebook ads, you know, like... Let me just show you. I want to show you stuff. So I have, here's my Facebook. I'm being pretty transparent. Let me stop my share. I'm going to show you guys my screen again. Um, and I want to cover, to be respectful of my business partner, I'm going to cover some of the names of the brands. But I want you to see that, well, we've spent over $600 million on ads, but I just want to show you. So like, Here's the last seven days for one of my brands. This is just Facebook ads. So it's not Google, it's not YouTube, it's not, yeah. You know, this is a, so here is a smaller brand of mine. And you can see we spent $160,000. Okay. Um, let me show you guys another one. So across the top nav bar, you have all your different Facebook accounts. We have God knows how many. Um, and YouTube, some of my brands, I even spend more, uh, here we go. Well, the reason I'm showing you this is because it's a lot of people think 
they're good at marketing, but they don't. Actually, I'm going to show you Google ads. So that was Facebook ads. Let me show you YouTube ads. Okay. My goal, if I'm, you know, just on some of my brands, one of my brands, if I'm not spending a million dollars a month, I'm having a heart attack. Okay. So I'm going to show you, you don't need to spend that much because you're not going to be able to start out. But most people, 99% of entrepreneurs, if when their marketing spend goes up, their ROI goes down, they don't know how to scale at all. At all, at all. So I, I want you guys to understand that I'm going to teach you techniques that can scale through the roof. So and not just on Facebook, because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm good at Facebook. But I'm like, yeah, but that's just one. Never put all your fate of your whole life in just Mark Zuckerberg's hands. I promise you guys that you're going to make a big, big mistake if you do that. So let me just give me a second. I'm going to show you spend for yesterday or something like that so this is on youtube ads so facebook all right let's just go here we go well here you can see this is the last seven days this account oh let me turn our brightness down can you guys see that Two hundred and thirty-four thousand in the last seven days see that 234. So just those two brands together, I've shown you last week, we spent 400,000. Okay. So going back in, in, I'm not trying to brag because I mean, me and Alex in our peak month, we spent $16 million on marketing in one month, but I'm showing you that I can teach you this. We can teach you this. I'm going to show you how to search for high quality products on something like Alibaba or AliExpress. Okay, and how to introduce yourself to the vendors. So AliExpress is a very simple place you can start just kind of looking. Now, you don't always have to buy it through AliExpress, but there are, let me show you how many items you can start selling on your store. Uh, so let's just look in a category like, I don't know, let's pick a different category we haven't talked about. Phones and telecommunications. So these are things like, what in the world? Oh, I know why. Some of these products they're not doing outside the U.S. But let's let's just pick jewelry and accessories. Big market. What the hell is going on? All right, we got a bug here. There's definitely lots of, but there's hundreds of thousands of SKUs that you can start, here's one, dog beds. <laughs> I was just looking at, huh, okay, there is a, I'm, I don't know what's up, screw this. Maybe it blocked my IP. Sometimes if you're using a proxy. Does anybody else get an AliExpress to work for them? All right, let's just click this. Beauty holic. Beauty holic. So this is an item that you can get for three bucks. Three bucks. What does that say right there? One cent. One cent. Can anybody here afford one penny? Here's a nail polish you can get for 99 cents. So you can start buying these items in bulk. Here's another one for one cent. What if you bought something for a penny and sold it for $3 and 90 cents? You think you could make money then? Who feels confident about that? A dollar 55 summer colorful butterfly nails, a dollar 55. Here's a lift, a cheek lift. Make your cheeks look better. Three bucks. Okay. So the, the sky is the limit right now. Look, look how many SKUs there are. This is just one of the vendors. So I'm going to show you how to use these vendors to really find your products and find winners and get them for cheap and resell them. Um, important, what words to use on your pop-up? Very precision what we say. Each of these words, is, or you know, this company is not even smart enough to have a pop-up at all. So I want you to grow your email list, your SMS list. Uh, I'm going to show you a plug and you can get less for $10 a month that makes us over $75,000. It's pretty cool. 
Um, we go through the kind of the Ten Commandments of Facebook. Okay, I've only shared these once during an event where people paid two grand, so I'm going to include that in. I'm going to talk about the best ways to get a hundred thousand followers on social media for your brand. Your brand should have social media. You know, my Instagram here. I've grown my brand. Let me see what I'm at today. I think I'm at two point nine million. So it's easy to get to. I know how to get to a hundred thousand. Um, you got to focus on it. I'm at, sorry, I'm at, yeah, 2.9 million for my personal brand here. So I'm going to show you, pull back the curtain on growing your brand's social media. The one thing that gets more 90, that more than 90% of the websites are lacking that destroys their reputation. Okay. And I'll show you how to set it up and fix it in 20 minutes. How to quickly test your content and ads so you know what to scale. You got to be experimenting. If you're not, I'm trying to run at least, at least, 3,000 experiments a year, 10 a day. Some of them are small, some of them are large, okay? I'm gonna show you scientific methods for split testing them. So you always know what to say on your website, social media, emails. I'm gonna give you some texting templates. We get about 90%, 97% open rate. Obviously, text is way better than email, even though you still wanna use email. I'm gonna show you how to buy products and services easy. You gotta be able to buy cheap, Buy low, sell high. I'm a college dropout. Even I know that. Um, and if you're going to be do some consulting, I'm going to show you if you meet somebody and you want to charge them $1,000 a month or $10,000 to grow their e-com. Um, hold on a sec. Sorry. Um, to grow your e-com, then... I'm going to show you how to get over people's objections. A lot of people are like, oh, I can't afford to pay you. I'll show you even what to tell your boss to get a raise. <laughs> how to make one-time loyal buy, one-time buyers loyal ongoing customers. One of the things my mentor taught me is he said, Ty, you can't make money if you don't have repeat business. You know? You have to have repeat business. My business is all predicated like if you look at something like Dress Barn, you know how many people are repeat buyers? It's insane. You want to try to grow it to every day, you're 30 to 50% at scale, 30 to 50% repeat buyers. You cannot make money without repeat. Some of you have clicked on one of my ads and I followed you all around the internet using retargeting. So I'm going to, I call this the omnipresent retargeting system. Okay. And this kind of, you can automatically just run this thing. I spend many millions of dollars on this. Uh, sorry here. Boop, boop, boop. How to make people love your brand, man. How to get them to sell your, your products for you as ambassadors. So that's just like 15, 20 things you're going to get in this program. There'll be a lot more, but I just want to give you kind of a preview. So you're going to get four months access from e-commerce experts who have at least scaled a brand to hundred million or more certification at the end. So let's talk about the certification for a second. Certification is real. It's legit. It's not just like true false. You should do e-com at the end of uh, the four months you go through it. And if you fail it, don't worry. You, you got to wait a week and then you can try it again. I really want you. So I'm on your side. It's not like a, you know, high school degree or, or high school um, uh, exam where nobody cares. And it's like you use it to get into college. Like I want my goal. If you don't pass the exam is to help you do it because it's no advantage to me. My goal would be to have a hundred percent graduation rate. Now it's not a college degree. Just to be clear, you're not getting college credit. If you need college credit, go somewhere else. I don't even have a college degree. So how am I going to teach you? <laughs> how am I going to offer you a college degree? When I went to college for like one quarter and then I was like, forget it. I don't need this. I'm not saying you shouldn't go to college. Some professions, you should go to college. You want to become a medical doctor, a dentist, an architect. You want to become a t accountant, CPA. You usually have to go to college, but not for business. Business school is kind of bullshit. The only good thing about business school is you sometimes meet cool people like Bill Gates, met Steve Ballmer, but he dropped out. All the richest ones in business school are the ones who dropped out, like Bill Gates is a dropout. Even Elon Musk says now, he's like, ah, 
I don't even care if people have degrees. I tell me, if you come work for me, you can come work with a college degree or no college degree. I don't care. I, I care about the substance. How good are you? That's all that matters to me. That's all that matters. So I'm not saying you should drop out. I'm just saying to me, this certification is legit because it's an actual. Think about people get a college degree in English or art history. I'm like, shit, you don't need to college for that. You learn art history, travel around the world, do e com, go to the Louvre in Paris, go, you know, go to Middle East, see some ancient, you know, Egyptian sculptures, things like that. That's how you learn that. A lot of things you you got to learn by getting in there in the trenches. So I'm going to help you get in the trenches. Okay. Um, what else do I want to share? And I want to take some more questions. So I'm going to put up a link. You got a 30 day money back. 100% guarantee. So you can try the program for a month. If you don't think it's value. I mean, so far now we had almost no refunds. You always get some refunds because some people are just weird. Some people are unethical, but you go to tylopez.com slash start. By the way, I'll read the names here of people. So uh, of getting in the program, I got a little app. I see my real time students entering in the program. So tylopez.com slash start. You can just, the way it works, you go there, it'll take you to a 256 bit SSL encrypted page. So that means nobody sees your card number. I don't see it. It's safer than giving your card number to somebody at, you know, at Starbucks or whatever. Tylopez.com slash start. As soon as you fill out your info there, you're going to get access to the program. So you get access to the program in the next five minutes. The first month is a 30-day challenge. So in the first 30 days, I want to get you well-rounded so that you could actually start this month your e-com store. Okay, or your e com service business or your digital e com business. There's three types of e com there's digital, physical, and service based. So, I want the, the this first month is the most important. This first week, it's all ready to go. All right, let me read the name of some people getting in Maricia Mendonca from Brooklyn, New York. Welcome to the group. Uh, Luke Poling, welcome to the group on Ottawa, Ontario. Let me turn my brightness up. I got this thing turned down. Uh, let's see some of these are my other programs. Marla Schultz. Welcome to the program. LA, California, Alex Escarmont in Ottawa. Oh, we have two people from Ottawa. Maybe they're friends. Richard Vamosi from Barnes, Kent, Great Britain. Welcome to the four month certification program. My friend Puya Maula from Thornhill, Ontario, Canada, Latoya Lewis from Antioch, Tennessee, Isaac Hernandez from Tampa, Florida. Lizzie Casson from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. James Cheer from Auk. Oh, no, sorry. That's my other. I have other. All my businesses come into this one app. Laura Alvarez from Newark, Ohio. Not Newark, New Jersey. Okay. Welcome to the group. Phil Sear from Daly City. Welcome to the group. Chelsea Russell. Welcome to the group. Denver. Love Denver. Okay questions and i want to go through some more stuff here tylopes.com slash start so here's seven bonuses i'm going to give you for anyone who gets in while this call is still going okay i'm going to go for another 20 minutes or so here answering questions especially this one right here this we have different levels once you're inside and i'm going to get the one-on-one -on -one coaching we only do for super kind of advanced e-com students i'm going to give you 14 days of that Meaning you can text me, me and my two right-hand people check this text and give you one-on-one -on -one answers. Every Friday, you get my live Q&A. Every Friday, I pop in for one hour. So plus you can have, that's group coaching. We get about 500, 600 people on that. But then I'm giving you one-on-one. -on -one. Then I'm going to throw in some seven cut and paste templates, sales templates, all right? Uh, and these are not normally in the program. I'm going to give you my PACE system. This is a system I created on understand human psychology, PACE, practical action, social, emotional. Okay. So it's a one page PDF. It's very important. You know how to read people. If you want to make any money, SMS cash codes, proven to work scripts that get 90% open rates. And more importantly, plus they make money. One of my brands, every time I send a text, I make $40,000. It's insane. Just from the text. 
40,000 comes within like five hours of sending a text. Now that you're not going to get that because your text list is going to be smaller than mine. But the point is it's free money. So, I mean, shoot, if somebody wants to give me $1 for free, I'll take it. Right. Okay. Uh, you're going to get this top niche report, 10 of today's best e-com niches, simple PDF. That's going to help you. And then a self education survival kit, nine books. Can't make money if you have no common sense. You don't need to be a genius, but you can't be an idiot. That's my advice to everybody here. All right. Kevin Sladen just got in the group from Eagle River, Alaska. I have never been in Alaska, but I would like to go. Son. Son. Wait, hold on. Son Matika. Mariaki. That's, I don't know what. What pronunciation I just did? Sorry about that. You're in LA where I was born. Anthony Leedy in Mechan Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. It's all in so Mechanicsburg, Virginia. Alfred Blackburn, welcome to the group in Tottingham, Essex, Great Britain. Well, I live part time in London, so I love the UK. I'm a big UK guy. So this is closing soon because I'm going to, those bonuses are all going to close up here at the end of the call, especially the, the, the text one is really. Of all these bonuses, trust me, get you want to get this one. This is the one I'm gonna get. I'm gonna knock that one off at the end of this call. It's very helpful to be able to text somebody. You remember that show, like How to Become a Millionaire, and they have like do phone a friend. This is like text a friend. You're gonna get stuck at the beginning, and being able to text this is gonna change your game. Okay, tylopezcom slash start. Let me answer some questions real quick that I see coming in on chat um, while you decide and while some of you go and join the program. Anybody want some examples? Mark Grinev from Richmond Hill, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to the group. David Torres from Knoxville, Tennessee. Welcome to the group. Valen Valencia Fisher from Cape Town, Western Cape, South Africa. Welcome to the group. Kenny Gorenson from Reno, Nevada. Welcome to the group, my friend. Okay. Let me, I got to stop the share or else I can't see the chats. They, get, they come in. All right. Let me answer some frequently asked questions that I see. Somebody asks, is this a scam? Um, well, I'm going to tell you what a scam is. In my opinion, New York okay, Business School, Columbia Business School, NYU Business School, Stern Business School, charging people $30,000 a year for four years digital marketing to learn from professors that have never done e-com. Me and my business partner, Alex, have done more e com than every college professor in the world combined. So is this a scam? I, I tell people, you already been scammed by the modern system, my friend. <laughs> Just think about your high school. What did you learn that was practical? Hypotenuse triangle, how often do you use that? Did you learn how to do your taxes? Did you learn how to invest in real estate? Did you learn how to negotiate a contract? Did you learn how to read people in a business setting? Did you learn how to take an idea out of your head and turn it into cash in your bank account? Hell no. <laughs> Don't ever bring up. I tell people, whole damn world has been scammed. The food system's a scam. You got Coca-Cola in school system for second, third graders drinking Coca-Cola. Then they get all hyper. And then the pharmaceutical company gives them Ritalin. That's a scam. Some people need Ritalin. But if you give a whole bunch of little kids Coca-Cola, they're going to be hyper. So that's a scam. There's adults, there's big corporations that prey on little kids. It's insane by taking, by feeding them junk food. So the school system, half of it's a scam. College system scam, food systems full of scams. I mean, it's unreal. Don't even get me started in that. Um, well, let's just not, let's, let's not take this call down that direction. But I will tell you, have less fear in life. This program has a money back guarantee. So worst case I lose because you get 30 days free and then you ask for a refund. We get unethical people that do that, but I'm okay with it because it helps give confidence to people who are scared. Michael J from Valencia. Welcome to the group. Brian Hinch from Latham, New York. Welcome to the group. Kevin Streaks. Welcome to the group. Doesn't have your location. Powell Pondu. Cambridge. Welcome to the group. Derek Eckelbarger, Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Welcome to the group. Okay. Stephen Allen, 
San Diego. I love San Diego. Um, now, when you get in, it's very simple. I've got two requests for me. One, don't go too fast through the lessons. It's better to watch one lesson a few times than just try to watch all the first month's lessons right away. I hate when people do that. You know, some of the best books that are on my phone, I read them once a week. It's better to read less books and read them more often. Also, the link is in the chat for tylopez.com slash start. Uh, what's the difference between your program, e-commerce certification, and your e-com blueprint and e-com agency? Those pro those old age, the programs I launched in 2016, this is the new improved version. And I've never had a four-month certification where I take it. Those were more how to get started, jump starts, you know? Ecom books you suggest, you know, the most important thing books to read if you want to make money is books around human behavior and psychology. Business books are not as important as books around human behavior. If you understand human behavior, consumer behavior, you'll understand what they bought. You'll understand what to say on your website. You'll understand what price to put there. Okay. Felix Miranda. Did I already read? Is there already from my reading these again? Felix Miranda, New York, New York. Douglas Marisette, Houston. Welcome to the group. Edward Johnston, Bell, California. Gary Dolch, Dripping Springs, Texas. Valen, wow. Valentines Chernikovs in Riga, Latvia. I've been to Latvia. Cool place. I actually know two girls here, two models in New York that are, they're twins and they're from Riga, Latvia. They were adopted. They were they were orphan, in an orphanage, and then they got adopted by Australians, and then now they live in America. I've been to Riga once for like five minutes. I was I was in Estonia and Finland. Okay, uh, where do we get the bonuses for buying now? You will get the bonuses once you get in, especially the 14 day of free texting. Make sure you do it. Don't send 50 trillion. We're not gonna, if one person texts 400 texts, we're not we're going to ignore you. But just be reasonable. And we'll help you. Okay. There's always one person got to abuse the system trying to help everybody. So don't be that person. Victor Ortiz, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma. I was just watching a thing with Russell Westbrook basketball. Okay. Can a low income person being a student to put into e com ideal any tips? So if the question is, can you get started? Do you need a lot of money to start an e-com? No. The, the, if you have no money, the best way or very little money, the best way to start is with services. Charge a restaurant $10,000 to put their, their menu on Shopify. It's a good deal for them. They're never going to figure it out. They'll make their $10,000 back by being able to open. Okay? So I'm going to show you if you have, have no money, you shouldn't start with complicated products. Okay? I, I'm not going to lie to you and say oh if you have zero dollars you should start dress barn like i have a farmer's car no you should start with a simpler service-based business as a consultant an e-commerce consultant do you cover amazon fba yes not in the first month we get into that that's more advanced in the second third and fourth month yep one of the people um that i learned amazon for i've got many people that are good at amazon um not as many as you think but many that i know she makes uh, $500,000 a month selling household items on Amazon. She's, she's, she's an amazing woman named Liz. Okay. Dr. Carl Hofauer in Perlin, Texas. Welcome to the group. Angel of, by the way, you're a doctor. Use the techniques here to put your services here, man. Services, services, services. Telemedicine is going to be massive. Okay. Telemedicine. Angela Vita. Welcome to the group. Ein Borboom in Pine City, Minnesota. Mario Duran, New York, New York. Paul Vigil. Abduli Sul. Oh, no, that's a different program. Sorry. Fatima Mortage. No location. All right. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Texting my business partner about something else. He flew out here to, to my farm in Virginia. He lives in San Francisco. He was freaked out to get on a plane. So I made him get a private, take a private jet here. He's cheap. 
he don't like to spend any. He'll take Southwest Airlines. He sold his company for three hundred million bucks, but he'll still fly economy to save money. But I said, my brother, you got to protect your health right now. So he got a Citation Ten. It's one of my favorite jets. Flew it out here. You can fly. You can fly from East Coast to West Coast in under four hours sometimes with the Citation uh, Ten. Okay. Somebody say he's frugal, not cheap. That is true. Um, well, we have lifetime access. It's a one-year program. You can renew and stay another year if you want. It's one year. So if you can't go through it in four months, you can take 12 months. But I don't want you – if I don't put a limit on it, people procrastinate. So don't procrastinate. Someone says, Ty, I have zero dollars. Here's the thing. I was torn. I've always been torn. Should I – do free should i just make this free for everybody here's the problem if i make it free five million people will go through it that's too much competition it's like with my smma i put a price on it and like eighty thousand people went through that's enough you guys if too many people do this it'll stop working so that's why i put a price on it but i give free training i've been doing free. i do free training too so it's not like so if look here's the thing in my life I've not had enough money for stuff at different times and I've missed out on big opportunities. Okay. I'll tell you a true story. This is later. This is when I got started, but once I started making more money, I had a chance to buy 1% of an NBA basketball team five years ago. No, six years ago, 1% of an NBA basketball team, a big basketball team. Okay. Not like, you know, a teeny little team. Not like, memphis or something okay and i didn't quite have enough money ready at the time i had it allocated for other stuff so i missed out on that damn deal my whole life since then once a month i'm like damn it ty always save money extra money no matter and i'm gonna tell you that's for the, whether when you're poor when you're middle class when you're upper class when you're rich always start setting aside money so it was a lesson for me and i tell people if you are completely broke right now, you need to rethink your whole life. Now, you can blame capitalism. You can blame society. You can blame your government. And you're probably right. There's a lot of flaws in the modern world, but it ain't going to get you anywhere. You think some politician really cares about you? Name a politician in any about the people. Bullshit. Every president of the United States becomes a multi, multi, hundred million plus. Why don't they give away all their money? They're public servants, right? If they're really just for the people, why do presidents, every president's worth a hundred million to a billion dollars, basically? Why don't they just give it away as quick as they make it? They ain't in it for the people. You better go get it yourself, my friend. Whining and complaining only gets you so far. It only works with mommy and daddy. The rest of the world just cares about themselves. That's that's the, the I'm telling you the rules of the jungle. Same with e-com. You want to make money in e-com, you better put together a good website, good products, and you better deliver on it, my friend. Because people will stop buying from you like that. All right. Let me share my screen again. So you guys learn e-com on your own. I mean, it's harder. It'll take you, in my experience, it'll take you an extra 10 years. If I had someone teaching me this back in 2001, I'd be 10 damn years ahead. Pisses me off. So if you don't see this as an opportunity, it's fine. But I wish I had it. Okay, Carlos Garcia in San Pablo, California. Welcome to the group. Jesus Pablo Lopez. Welcome to the group. No location. Terry Ann Taylor, Yonkers, New York. Welcome to the group. Yonkers. Boy. Westchester County got hit by that COVID big time. Question. So what other questions do we have? Um, remember this right here. Jeff Bezos said, you know, in 20 years, will you regret doing this? Yes. Then do it. Try it. Give yourself a dang chance, man. Everybody's just waiting for the government to hand out money. Everybody's waiting to get their old job back. Forget that. Try something new, my friend. Uh, what other questions do we have? What is the difference between us and the, not sure that means. You asked before you need discipline. If you already struggle with mental health, what's your advice to start? <laughs> it's a tough question. Look, I'm not a psychologist, so I'm not going to give you the answers to 
I don't have the answers as a professional on mental health. I will tell you some, I do have a mentor that's considered one of the greatest psychologists alive. His name is Dr. David Buss. He was the head of evolutionary psychology at Harvard. And now he's at university of Austin, Texas. He's, he's, he wrote the textbook they use at Harvard and, and Yale. So I, I have some experience because he's been an advisor of mine for coming up on years. Um, some of the things we call mental health come from environmental things like having a tough upbringing, losing a lot and maybe being bullied, considered a loser, all those things. You'd be surprised what winning does, even if it's little wins to mental health. Part of why we get depressed, and I'm, I'm excluding people that have chemical problems, people in control, but I get more depressed when everything I'm doing isn't working and, and I'm stressed. So to me, the reason you want to build at least one extra source of income because some of you can just do this e-commerce part-time the reason you want to is because the alternative is being trapped and being trapped is the greatest way to get depressed i mean you trap somebody people's mental health drops instantaneously abdul sumro in cambridge ontario canada welcome to the group alejandro bonilla welcome to the group pacoima california Daniel Naharo in Miami, welcome to the group. Sean, oh no, it's a different program. That's Metro Box, sorry. Okay. Looking into the economics of robotics, do you see a shift because of COVID to automate more industries? Could we be in the horse trade? No, it's just going <laughs> to, the more artificial intelligence comes in robots, the better you better be at e-com because they're going to replace factory jobs. They're going to replace delivery. They're going to be. Jeff Bezos is going to have drones soon dropping stuff. So all these, there's going to be driverless cars with Uber. So the opportunity is to be a business and a brand. That's a good question. My team, you can talk to them on that. I'm sure we can make that work one way or another. Mark my words, Ty. I will keep finding a way to afford the program. Good. Save your money, man. Always save it, not just for my stuff, but for anything in general. It's important to be prepared. Life has opportunities and you snooze, you lose. Billy Ballard in Greenville, North Carolina. I went to high school in North Carolina, so I know where Greenville is. Can I buy this later? Here's the thing. Um, we already closed the first test group. This is the second test group. You are The first test group got the most just so you know, just being honest. I always tell people, if you get in the first test group, I give you the most things, the most bonuses, the most access. Um, so you're already in the second test group. So this test group will close and I'll go to the third test group. But also, if you don't get in during this call, you're going to miss out on that SMS um, access. Very important to be able to phone a friend, be able to text a friend. I just bought it, but the page is blank afterwards. Okay, you can go on my website and you can ask support. Sometimes people's browser, their internet fails, or sometimes their card is declined. It should have a pop-up, you know. But, okay, where do you start? Lesson one, inside the program. Ty, do you reckon it's unethical to get into the video game business? Not really. I, don't, I mean, it's not unethical. It, video games is controversial. I do think a lot of I'm playing too much video games. It's just my opinion. Some people disagree, but it's kind of common sense. I know a dude that does, he's a grown man. He plays five hours a day. I'm like, bro, what is wrong with you? Like, don't do anything. You're like, that's just wreck. Live a good life and just go, oh, for fun, I'm going to go out in my backyard and play basketball, shoot hoops for five hours. Well, you can do that if that's your, it's a free country, but you're not going to excel at anything. Balance, my friend, balance. Do you recommend doing pro bono services for local companies to help them get online and build your credit? Tell yourself short. Don't do it forever. So say I'll do a free week to show you what I can do. Let's say it's a restaurant. Let's say it's a dentist, like whatever. I could, give me a week and I'm going to show you what I can do. 
and I'm doing a good job for you, I need you to pay. Businesses have plenty of money. Lots of business owners have $100,000 sitting in their bank account, $30,000, $50,000. You can charge them a grand to do consulting and charge them five to 10, even more if it's a complex e-com bit, the site to build for them. All right, Chad Breeding, welcome to the group, Miami, Florida. Ola Depot Jagoon in Lagos, Nigeria. Miguel Delgadillo, Chula Vista, California. Billy Bal, oh, I already read Billy. M- Miguel, I... Uh, I went, I went to elementary school in San Diego, so I know Chula Vista. Lordell said, hello from New York. Okay, what's some last things? I'm going to get off here. I'm just trying to give you guys enough time. I'll about five more minutes and uh, get you, give you some chance. Let me share my screen. <laughs> Tylopez.com slash start. Kudzai Chakwenya in Edinburgh, Scotland, Great Britain. Welcome to the group. Daniel Rodriguez. Oh, no, that's different. Sorry. That's a different program that I have. Okay. Any other questions? Let me show you some other stuff. So going back here, you got black powder coffee. All right. So this is an addictive. Remember I told you I'm going to show you the most important thing, and that's going after addictive markets. What else is addictive? How about makeup? Lot or, or any? Do you think there's anybody that's kind of addicted? how they look <laughs> yeah the whole instagram world the whole instagram generation so if i go here what's selling here you know in i'm just looking here it's free advertising neon drip rude cosmetics remember that kylie jenner became the first self-made or the youngest self-made billionaire in the world she did it with makeup company Gazing. So let's just click on one of these. Let's see if they're any good at e-com. Let's see if this is a company you could build and compete with them. I bet you it is because almost nobody is going to know. Look right here. They don't even have the price correct. Look how Amazon does their pricing. Like people don't even smart enough to learn from Amazon. Richest man in the world. Does he just put a price there? All right. 61 reviews. Where are these reviews? Do these look real? Neon drip. Okay. Horrible pop up. Look at this. Who wants to fill out four things? Why do you need their last name? This is bullshit. These people know nothing. Sadly, tell them to go in my program. Like, just what in the world? You're going to make pop up four things? Nobody's going to fill that out. So, when you go to, you know, when you go to uh, buy something, you, this is my Amazon. You can see that I like books. What does he do in terms of? Pricing. Oh, these are all Kindle. Let me find a non Kindle book. Why are these showing me Kindle? This is. Ah, uh, now I know. I want to get out of the Kindle store into books. So let's see here. How does he do the price? Come in. Oh, thanks. Seen that you? Yeah. What will they? This is a business I own. It's a hemp protein shake. Okay, let me let me come back here and look at what I was looking at. Look at how Jeff Bezos. Damn it! Why is? Okay, here we go. I want to show you all the sophisticated things that he does. One of them, let me go to a better place. This is just, books is not showing what I want to show. Shoes. Ugh, these are some ugly ass shoes. First of all, he shows a range of prices. It's always good to show a range because then you can show the low range first, but you can actually charge 31. That's what he often does. He has free returns, even though it only says some. He's got 40% off here. He's got, look how much better I can look at the shoes. This this thing, I mean, <laughs> not as good as Amazon. He usually, I'm not sure. I think this is not a prime product because right here it'll say, order this in the next 22 minutes and you'll get, let me find a prime thing. He's so good. Jeff Bezos is just a master. Also, like I said, these reviews look so fake. Beautiful. 
they're like one or two words. When you look at something that Jeff Bezos has, he has things that he has a their Amazon's choice, this little logo. Okay. $19 and free shipping. The reviews, let's see if this has any reviews. Here's your ratings. These are longer ratings. This looks more realistic. Like, and they're not all positive. When I go here, it's I love the vibrant colors. It's like neon drip palette. Does that look like a real review? Looks kind of BS. And all of them, 61 of them are all five stars. So it's just, this is not how to do it. Not how to do it. Not how to do it at all. We said, I can't find my course. You'll get an email that will help you get in there. Just so you guys know, if you don't, you can go to my support. And we have live support. They can help you too. Melissa Shoemaker, welcome to the group. Vernon Hills, Illinois. Jordan Barboza Davis, welcome to the group. Mansfield, Massachusetts. Katie Minter. Oh, no, that's for Mentor Box. Sorry. Sidra Tool, Chow Hadri in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to the group. David Marizmi, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Welcome to the group. Dayton Hernandez in Managua, Nicaragua. You know a cool thing about Ecom? I have businesses. Oh, or I should say I have sales in 191 countries and there's only like 196 countries in the world that's the cool thing imagine if you have a store you're limited to your location nobody's going to fly from you know jamaica to buy from you in richmond virginia but from richmond virginia through the power of the internet you can be selling to people everywhere all right i see a lot of people coming in here i'm gonna close this up here shortly i gotta go Brad Miller, Houston, Texas. Welcome to the group. Ignacio Anguayino in Turlock, California. Richard Hall, Mountain View, California. Gina Mills, Woodbridge, Virginia. All right. Uh, Jose Bernio in Guayaquil, Ecuador. Aries Mitchell, Chicago, Illinois. Kudzai. Oh, no, I did that. Kudzai, sorry. I just love that name. I read it twice. Do you know any good history books for Mansa Musa? Nope. How do you get people that don't have the internet like old people? Eh, you just buy it. Old people are buying online slowly but surely. But old people aren't the main consumers. They're the main consumers if you have like a nursing home or, or you're selling products like that. Real estate, uh, older people do a lot of stocks so because they've they're got their retirement money. But yeah, that's not your main. I wouldn't consider that my main way of making money. Brad Miller, Houston. Oh, wait. I already read that. Got to refresh. What book did I read today? I have not read a book yet. I've been reading this history. I got it right there. It's the history of America. It's great. I'm reading a book on the West, the ranching in the West. If you're starting, what's better, niche or general? Um, the best way, and we'll talk about that in the course, is to be niche, but but have a brand that can go general. So I wouldn't want my domain name to be like um, polkadotsocks.com or something. I mean, maybe that'd be okay, but I wouldn't want to limit myself to even just socks. What's the total sock market in the world, guys? It's not very big. So I'd rather have a footwear store because then I could branch into shoes. I could branch into things that help people's feet feel better. Like you could, I, I just don't like to limit the brand is I guess what I'm trying to say to you. So be very, very careful of limiting the brand. Do you have books you recommend for human behavior and psychology? Yeah, you're, those of you who got in the program, you're going to get a special PDF that I don't share, but I'll give you one free here. Uh, Dr. David Buss, Buss's book, Evolutionary Psychology. It's a textbook. It's, it's insane. I've read that book like 10 times. So I will, will be live calls in the four, four months course. Yeah, so you're getting access to every Friday, okay, at 5 p.m. Eastern, there's a Q&A. So that's, yeah. Okay, I got about five minutes left before I close up here. How long have I been on? About an hour and 20 minutes. Can we join from outside the U.S.? Yes, okay, some common questions. Does it matter how old you are? No. Let me show you something cool. Let me show you something. You know who made a lot of money in e-com? 
how'd you like to, instead of doing dopey stuff that we all did in school, this kid's eight years old. In the last two years, he made $50 million profit in e-commerce using YouTube and e to sell toys. So in la- last year, he made $22 million. That was his cut. Of course, his parents, you know, managed the money or whatever. The year before, he made $18 million. So $22 million. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, that was in 2018. I think I, I added it up. He's at 50 million in two years. Okay. Does it matter where you live? This is the one thing it doesn't matter where you live because nobody can see where you live. Like Amazon, this Amazon seller of these might could be living in Brazil, Nepal, Kathmandu. Like it doesn't matter. Why would it matter? Do you think I look here and go, Tom Bink, are they American? For those of you who think the world's racist, you're probably right. And my answer is e-com because Tom Bick might be, uh, who knows what ethnicity is and who cares? As long as I want these damn shoes, I'll buy. And that's the beauty of e So don't, age doesn't matter. Mark Ald from Ardley, Essex, Great Britain. Welcome to the group. Regina Fleming from, did I read this? This is another person from Yonkers. Shannon Shute from Michigan City, Indiana. There's a Michigan City, Indiana, Indiana. Well, I'll be damned. Learning something new. So much to learn from Amazon. This man, you know how many SKUs are on Amazon? 600 million, they guess. 600 million items. 600 million pantry. What sells it? I didn't know they had Whole Foods on there. Snacks. I'm getting ready to put one. I have a beef jerky brand. I'm getting ready to put it right here on Amazon. Bars. Who's hungry right now watching this? Who worked up an appetite? Kellogg's Nutrigrain. I mean, just everybody. It's just, remember at the very beginning, I'm just going to tell you guys this one more time. Are you too late to get into e Almost. Jeff Bezos got in 94. You need, how much more time do you need? <laughs> like, I can understand if you're five years old watching this, but like 94, you're 26 years, but I got it in 01. I felt like I was late in 01. I meet people are like, oh, I'm scared to get into, I'm going, how fucking slow can one person be? 26 years? You're going to need 26 years to do something? Strange. So I want you to proofread and edit my, oh, you want to proofread my edit book. Okay. I might put it out there. Do you have a Facebook group for this course? No, we focus on the, the I like the texting one-on-one. Those Facebook groups get so unmanageable people just start selling their own weird stuff and you get one crazy person in there that spams the group. So I used to do Facebook groups. I just, they're not my favorite anymore. Just because I'm all about results. I don't see as many results as people think, you know, when do I have the live call? So as you get in, it'll be every four weeks. I'm sorry. Every Friday, I'm reading too many things. What's better, a blue ocean business or red ocean? Blue ocean means new industries. Red ocean is highly competitive ones. I mostly go into red oceans. There's more money there. But blue ocean is easier to start in. Red oceans are better for making some money, you know? All right. Any other questions? Sorry if I'm missing some of these. These things are pouring in these comments. Hassan. Oh, no. It's a different program, Jasminder Singh. Welcome to the group. League, League City, Texas. Skjold Neckelman. Welcome to the group. Then you get in the group for the next 10 hours. Well, look, if you go to that link and it says wait list, then you missed it. That's the easy way to know. But that SMS 
thing is just for that that free is for right now on this call. Okay. How do you solve program pro run to a low income country? Well, what? Let's say you live in a low income country. Why would you sell there? I, I mean, maybe you're doing it for personal reasons to help your country or something, but I don't understand I, why. If I lived in some country that was super poor, I would be selling into America, or I'd be selling into Germany, or I'd be selling into Canada. Um, but I was just no way I would. People have no money and can't buy anything. George for six SKU asked WordPress or Shopify. Shopify for physical products for sure. Uh, it's not perfect. There's things I hate about Shopify, like that very bad price split testing. But overall, it's strong. You can build a, yeah, I mean, you can build volume on Shopify and it's not going to go down. Uh, and it, WordPress, if I was doing a digital or a consulting service based business, there's a possibility I would use WordPress in general, less and less people are in my world are using less and less of uh, WordPress, but it's, it's a powerful tool with lots of plugins. They should have adapted and built a Shopify, but they didn't. Ty, how are taxes on income made? If you make income with e -com, well, if you live in the U S in general, you're going to have to pay U S taxes. Ideally do not live. You know, you live in a tax free state. There's, you know, Missouri, uh, Tennessee. These are ones with no state tax. You always got federal tax unless you move to Puerto Rico. But you got Florida. You have Washington state, not Washington, D.C. You have Texas. You got Nevada. So a lot of people that I know, that's the simplest way. If you live in California, you move out. Move your, you got to legitimately move out. You can't just like pretend you move out, get a P.O. box. But if you legitimately move out, to a U.S. Uh, tax-free state, California to Florida, you save 13.5% if you're in the highest tax bracket, okay? Now, if you're not in the U.S., it's so easy. I mean, the U.S. is the hardest place to minimize taxes. So many people are like, oh, so we just people pay all this taxes. Bullshit. The rich people don't. So much <laughs> Billionaires in Sweden. Sweden has the most billionaires per capita in the world. People call it a socialistic country. I'm like, my ass. My ass. Oh, by the way, all of you getting in, we have, make sure you schedule a call with my team. The team will give you a call. People, I like to do a call. The call will make sure you got your login and you got your this and that. It'll also make sure some of you want to get higher access and want us to build you a store. That all happens um, on that call. So, what else? Any other addictive products you have? All of the products I go into are addictive, you know? Is there a website design course? You, we're going to teach you the basics, but I, you can hire website designers. If you use our templates that we're going to give you, plus you use things like Shopify, don't be building your own templates. Not until you're a black belt in this thing. May, keep it in simple. K-I-S-S. -S, keep it simple, stupid. So many people just kill themselves. I'm like, come on, man. Keep it simple. Claudia Vargas, Elmhurst, Illinois. Welcome to the group. Ubaldo Reyna. Welcome to the group. Hollywood, Florida. Gina Mills. Oh, sorry. I read that. Othmum Omsbari. Skold Nickelman in Lomita. Skold. in sounds like Swedish. Zaid E. Gilbert, Arizona. Welcome to the group. Clarence King Rubel. Oh, Ruby, sorry. 
Welcome to the group. That's a cool name. Clarence King Dash Ruby. You got a hyphenated last name. Maybe you took your wife's name with the hyphen. But I think medical home medicals will be massive. You mean the whole medical industry like telemedicine? Um, what do you mean, Mark? I'm not in that space. How does the econ certification work? Or is it a credit? No, I, I don't have a college degree. Why would I give, try to give people a accredited degree? If you actually want to know shit, that's what it's accredited in. <laughs> if you want, all oh, it's funny. I got a friend. He loves getting college degrees. It's not my business partner, Alex. It's another guy. He's got a PhD. He he loves all these bullshit things, and he can never. Forget. He's always like, Ty, why do you? We started out the same, same amount of money, two thousand two, and it's just like whoosh. <laughs> Because I said, you're too focused on, like, appearances, buddy. He loves to be able to tell people, I was a valedictorian in the SUNY school system. I got a PhD. I'm like, let me tell you this. When I was 21-ish, my mentor, Alan Nation, smartest guy I've ever met, he died recently. Sadly, I, I never could get him to go on a live call. He's a genius. You can Google him. He, he owned a magazine in Mississippi, but Alan Nation told me, he said, I said to him, Alan, I want to get a college degree. I was going to go to NC State because I lived in North Carolina at the time. And he goes, okay, why? And I said, because people respect you if you have that diploma. And I'll never forget, it was on the phone. He said, Ty, this is America. Make a million dollars. Then people will respect you. It was like, that's a stupid... He was like, go to college if you want. But if you think it brings you respect, you must be from some 1950s leave it to beaver family. Think anybody respects you for some bachelor degree from fucking community college or what? Maybe if you went to Harvard. Yeah, maybe even then when I meet Harvard, I just did it. Was trying to do a deal with a Harvard MBA guy. It's the stupidest guy. I, I was so pissed. I already see that guy. I'll punch him in his face. Guarantee you almost destroyed a big deal I was doing. Dumbest guy in the world. I shit you not. I was going to buy a company that I think is worth $400 million. And I was going to buy it for pennies on the dollar. I was going to buy it for like 5 million bucks. And he was like, you're paying too much. I said, well, I don't even get me started with this guy. So all you people who need pieces of paper, did you had notice that the richest people in the world dropping out is equal? Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, age adjusted, is the richest man in the world. Way richer than Jeff Bezos. He has seventy billion dollars. He's thirty five. What would you rather be? Thirty five with seven billion, or would you rather be fifty five, fifty, almost sixty, with forty more million? That's all Jeff Bezos has. Forty more billion now. Mark Zuckerberg's the Richest man besides maybe Putin, but even Putin's in his 60s. So there's billionaires that didn't drop out of college, but the ones on the top of the Forbes list didn't seem to matter. Now, there's people I respect like Warren Buffett. He went and got, I think he went to Columbia or you go to Columbia. That was like in the 50s, man. In the 50s, you needed a college degree because it was rare. The way the world works is whatever is rare, people value. So if you're a six foot nine athletic person, you're rare. So you can be LeBron James or Michael Jordan if you're six six. It's rare. It's rare. Um, if you are a super, super, super beautiful person, you can become a supermodel and make a lot. You know how much money Kendall Jenner makes by being the highest paid? She's the highest paid model in the world. What's the qualification for that? Good looks. Okay. Well, notice that it's rare things that make you money. So is college degree rare anymore? No. You know what's rare is people with skill. So now you get paid. It's like Elon Musk said. You get paid in proportion to the difficulty of problem you solve. So if you know how to hand somebody coffee at Starbucks, you're going to get paid about that much money. You know? Think. You're going to get paid about that much money. Think. If you know how to build a big brand. If you know how to, Jeff Bezos is a, is a red belt in e-com. He knows the warehousing. He knows the inventory. He knows the pricing. He understands raising capital, the capital structures. He understands the legal part of the business, the taxes. He only paid $2 billion in taxes on a trillion-dollar company last year. 
Somebody said, did Pablo Escobar use ECOB? No, but he got shot. He got shot in the knee and then shot in the head. So if you want to be rich for a couple of years, look what happened to Dan. What's the other guy? No, that's the Mexican guy. That's like Pablo Escobar. He's in a super max prison. <laughs> you know, so. Time from Bangladesh, low income country. I'm very new, new, new. And e -com, how do I start doing my online living here? It, you're not here. You're not there. It's e -com. Why? Are, I don't understand why people are stuck. It doesn't matter where you live. If you have internet, you're good. Abdul R. Ibrahim Kel, Martinsville, Virginia. Welcome to the group. Alfonso Flores, welcome to the group. Fort Worth, Texas. Reuben Avenary, Cleveland, Ohio. Welcome to the group. Irvin Chavez, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Welcome to the group. Andrew Keck. No, wrong program. Sorry. Alan Alwa, Landa Verdi. That is quite a name, man. There's, I love reading these names. It's like great names. Alan Alwa, Landa Verde. Okay. Thought you were Spanish, but Alan's not a super Spanish name. All right. I'm going to wrap up. We got three minutes left. Got that bonus going to throw that in you can buy the bonus if you don't get in i think we charge 1900 bucks for the, the four months of texting so it's a good deal but you can do the giving you free 14 days if you get in now do i read a book a day yes most days some days i don't some days i read two books but oh yeah you see all these books you can't even see them all i got books everywhere man and you see outside there, I have this is I got boxes full of books I haven't unpacked yet. I probably got six thousand books in this house. Maybe not six thousand, three thousand. How do you finish a book in a day? You gotta have free time. Have free time. Some of you working too hard, not working smart. Athena Walton, Columbus, welcome to the group. Mark Gutierrez, welcome to the group. You, you need free time, man. Have I heard of Kindle? Yeah, but I don't want to stare at a screen all the time. I already stare at a screen enough. When I go to read, I don't want to... I, don't, I do read. I read on my phone or Kindle or something um, when I'm like on an airplane sometimes. But even then, I like to buy books, man. I like to buy books. Call me old-fashioned. How many books have I read in my life? That is a great question. I once tried to count. It's hard to remember, but my goal is to read 10,000 books before I leave planet Earth. That is my goal. How's my puppy? <laughs> my mom got a puppy, Siggy. He's a, he's a boxer. Sorry, what's ADD? Attention deficit disorder. Somebody said, okay, Russell Brand. Does Russell Brand want to read 10,000 books? I definitely started the book thing before any of these celebrities did. Except maybe Bill Gates. I was big on books when I was 16. I started collecting books. Russell Brand used to be my next door neighbor for five years. In Hall that house that I shot here in my garage, he was my next door neighbor when he was made, married to Car Katie Perry. <laughs> uh, Robert Kiyosaki, question mark. Don't know much about him. Um, he's got different books. I think, you know, overall, it sounds like a good strategy. He's saying you should own assets that spin off cash. I think it's not a super arguable. Frame, I mean, it's pretty accurate. Ty, what do you prefer, using Google ads or Facebook ads? I mean, I'm partial to YouTube ads just because I was, at one point, I was like one of the biggest. I might be now again, but I used to be like one of the big, if not the biggest YouTube advertisers. So it was always kind of a favorite. And I started with Google AdWords. 2001, there wasn't Facebook. I started in the Facebook beta advertising program. I believe it was either 08 or 09. I had just moved to Hollywood and Vine. That's how I remember it. Boy, I got some stories, man. I went on this date with this girl. I don't even remember who it was. Facebook ads came out. Like I said, it's either 08 or 09. I think it's 09. But 
I built a Facebook ad campaign. There was no competition for my e-com business. I went, walked down the street, had sushi with this girl, came back two hours later, and I had made $17,000. And I remember going, whoa, this is insane. Because, <laughs> And when I started with Google AdWords, there was nobody competing. You could buy life insurance keywords for uh, around 20 cents a click. And I thought that was high. I was like, 20 cents? That means if five people click, I got to pay a dollar. <laughs> that was in 0102. Now it's $17 a click. That's what I try to tell people. Like, if you get in late, all the money's already been made, man. You're just going to be a cog in the machine for somebody else. Uh, have I ever talked to Jeff Bezos? No, I haven't. I went, on, I went to a little private thing with Jeff Bezos and heard him talk, but I... I've never met Jeff Bezos. I'd like to. I've never met Warren Buffett, who's kind of, I think, is the best businessman. But I know five five billionaires on the Forbes, actually six, but five famous ones. And I know one or two other people that you wouldn't know, but they are on the Forbes list. Um, and, and, you know, I'm going to tell you, people, I, I never met somebody dumb on the Forbes list. They're just, that's why I tell people, look, not everybody's going to be a billionaire for sure. Not everybody's going to become a millionaire. I'm realistic, but you can, I believe everybody on this call can achieve financial independence. If you live in India, that might be $5,000 a month or less. If you live in, you know, Beverly Hills, that might be, I mean, you can go, if you live in Manhattan, you could be making $18,000 a month and going broke, you know? San Francisco, Tokyo, these are expensive places. London is expensive, man. So the point is, is like your goal is not, I, this program is not about me promising people that they're going to become rich from it. But what I'm saying is you don't have to be rich, man. Financial independence, that's your minimum goal. By the way, people to talk too much about your maximum goal, minimum goals, man. Toronto's expensive. Have you ever met Drake? You know something funny? I have never met Drake personally, but I've talked with him on FaceTime. I'm, like three months ago, my cousin, Maya, was like, he basically, I let him play basketball at my backyard. I have a court. <laughs> so I got a call. Hey, Drake wants to play basketball in your backyard. And I was like in New York. And I was like, okay. So he FaceTimed me. Nice guy. I've only talked to him for 30 seconds. It was kind of funny. Um, have I ever met Donald Trump? No. I got a funny story about that. My friend, Hal ran Trump's licenses in California. This is a true story. This is like my move, just moved to Hollywood. So it's probably like 2007 or eight. I checked my voice memos and my friend Hal is like, dude, I'm at a club with Donald Trump. He hasn't gone to a club in 20 years or something. Cause you know, he's older and um, he's like, come out. And I did not check my voice memo for like a week, my voicemails. So I was so pissed. I was like, man, he's like, how like it's just me and Donald Trump. So I missed a big opportunity. Like, check your voice memos, man. I had that. I've had that before. Check your voice memos. Check your email. I've missed things because I didn't check my text. That's what I said about being disciplined. You got to be disciplined. If I just listen to my voice memos every morning or like every night, I just, I don't know. I should have hired somebody to do it for me. Lord El Benoza, Ty Lopez versus Gary V versus Grant Cardone. <laughs> You know what? Look, people bring this up a lot, Ty. Like, oh, Ty, I like this influencer the most. Look, all of us are just people, man. Um, there's people who have favorites. Maybe you love Gary Vee style or you love Grant Cardone style or you love Tony Robbins. I don't even care, man. I don't even have to be a social media influencer. Never a goal. That Not one day in my life I've ever been like, I want to be a, the biggest social media influencer. Fuck that. Be happy. Be rich, be happy, be healthy, find love, health, wealth, love, happiness. Anybody can be more famous than me. Great. I've pushed back. Like I've tried to reduce my Instagram. My Instagram, I, I know how to grow my Instagram in a million a month. I dropped that. I stopped doing it. I don't, don't make your goal to be famous, man. Be famous with the people you want to be famous. The only good thing that like kind of I'm pretty well known anywhere I go in the world, it's easy for me to get into a club. I like that. It's like, uh, it's helpful. I can go to any club and all uh, the bouncers always know who I am. So that's kind of cool. I can get into things that I like. 
Um, the rest is like, some people are like, oh, you know. Now, in terms of philosophy, Gary V, Grant Cardone, Tony Robb, all these people, Robert Kiyosaki, we all have slightly different philosophies. Sometimes we agree and sometimes we disagree. You know, Gary V is more about go out and hustle and Grant Cardone's more about real estate and try to, you know, 10x and all that stuff. And Tony Robbins is about the mindset and Robert Kiyosaki is kind of about assets and all that and test everything, man. All I can tell you is really you should just listen to Warren Buffett. 90% of what I say is backed by like Warren Buffett. So some of my ideas aren't even original. He doesn't do e-com. And I can tell you, if it's a choice between Gary V, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, Ty Lopez, and Warren Buffett, go with Warren Buffett. He has 92 brands. He's worth 70 to 90 billion. He's always rich. He basically never makes mistakes. He has $137 billion in cash right now in reserve. Like this dude is an OG. So why would you even want to compare, make that comparison? So I will tell you, if any influencer says something opposite of Warren Buffett, I'm going to go with Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett says he reads 700 pages a day since 1962. He says, read, 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 read. So if somebody tells me not to read, I'm going to be like, are you richer than Warren Buffett? Because he says to read. Bill Gates goes on reading vacations. Jeff Bezos started his business as a book company because he loves books. So when people say you shouldn't read, I'm like, are you better than the top three people? Three wealthiest people? Mark Zuckerberg started a book club, so he would he's like, I need to read even more. So Tom Bilyeau. Man, I, I just recently talked to Tom. I haven't talked to him in a while. I should give him I didn't write him back. We were talking about something. My WhatsApp's get. I'm writing them back right now. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, he started Quest Bars. He's a cool guy. I like him. Have I considered collabing with Kevin David? No idea. Not mean to offend anybody, but do I? Should I know who Kevin David is? I'm stupid. Excuse me if I do not know you, but I do not know who that is. But I don't I don't follow any social media influencers. Ed Milet, uh, I've talked to him a few times. I don't know a ton about him. Seems like he's a sharp guy. What about Jason Capital? Oh, I know Jason Capital a long time ago. How about Dan Locke? Don't know Dan. I've heard of him, but I don't know. Can't comment much. Do I play basketball? Hell yeah. Love basketball. Elon Musk, the greatest? Nah, not greater than Warren Buffett. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg is. Don't sleep on Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> don't sleep on Mark Zuckerberg when you talk about the greats out there. I mean, you can make a strong argument that Zuckerberg is the best business person. I mean, you can also argue that Kylie Jenner is the best. People love to hate on the Kardashians, but I mean, come on, man. She's 21, built a real company worth a billion dollars, and people say, oh, her family built it. Well, fine, whatever the fuck. It's still, you can't argue with numbers, man. She didn't inherit the money. Elon versus Jack Ma. Ty, what about my friend Vladi Divot? I would like to meet Vladi. I love basketball. Chris Jenner is the mastermind before it all. I, I've met Chris Jenner before. Yeah, John Cristani. I feel like so many people are asking me, why are so many rich and powerful people in the world Jewish? <laughs> Somebody's asking me. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I, I know Arnold a little bit. I don't know that rich and powerful people in the world are all Jewish. The richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos, isn't Jewish, and Warren Buffett's not Jewish. And I don't know. I don't get into the ethnicity thing, but okay. I went a little bit longer than I said I would, but I want to just give everybody a chance to jump in. I'll read the last few names and uh, tylopez.com slash start. What do we got here? 
do 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 read the names of people who've gotten in while I was talking about all kinds of random stuff. We've got Andrew Gordon, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Taluk Michael, welcome to the group, Midlothian, Texas. Uh, Jose Flores, Downey, Chris Charles, welcome to the group. Vaughn, just your name's just Vaughn. Sylvia Hernandez in Tijuana, welcome to the group. Monica Sengzone in San Diego, welcome to the group. 